looking at section C1 of question 11 the vectors OP the, the, vec the position vectors of the points P or oh, this is P and Q this is Q relative to an origin O right here R O P equals four three from O to P <coughs> is four three. That means if you should go from O to P, going from O to P means you could go straight, but you could go four to the right. 4 units to the right and 3 up. That's what it means. 4, 3 and OQ is 5, 0. From O to Q you go 5 to the right. But you neither go up nor down. So that's what it means. Respectively. Meaning in the same order in which they are mentioned. That's what the word respectively means. The diagram below shows PR equal 3 from P to R. It's 3 units long. 3 times no, it is I mean P to R. From P to R this distance is 3 OP meaning it is 3 times the distance OP 3 times longer than OP and QS from Q to S is 3 times the distance from O to Q ok Express in the form x, y, the vectors. So the top number is x. It tells you how far you move horizontally. If it is a positive number, you would move to the right. If it is negative, you move to the left. The bottom number, y, means how far you move vertically if it's a positive number you move up if it's a negative number you move down so what about OS let's see what OS is O to S from O all the way to S first of all if you're looking at OS, you would have moved from O to Q. It says OQ is 5. So you would have already moved 5 when you went from O to Q. Then you move from Q to S. QS is three times OQ. So from Q to S is three times five, which is 15. So this distance here is 15 long. The total distance now from O to S must be 5 plus 15 so this is 20 so along the X along the left and right movement you would move 20 but what about up and down you did not move up you did not move down. So OS is 
0. So it is in the form 20, 0. What about PQ? PQ is PQ is this from P to Q. When you move from P to Q, what it means if you consider OP, let's redraw it here. You have OP and you have OQ, then PQ. This is Q. And from P to Q is this. Let me draw two arrows on it to distinguish it. Now if you draw if you move from P to Q. It means the same as <coughs> moving from P to O and then from O to Q. You can move straight from P to Q or you could move from P to O then from O to Q. <coughs> if you move from P to O you would move remember OP was 4, 3. You move 4 to the right, 3 up. But if you move from P to O, it's in the opposite direction. So you would have moved instead of 4, 3. OP was 4, 3. No, PO is negative 4, negative 3 because you move the other way from P to O mean you'd have to move 4 down which give you the negative 4 um, I mean 4 to the left you'd have to move 4 to the left instead of 4 to the right now as was the case before when you move from O to P you'd have to move 4 to the right this time you're going 4 to the left. OP was 4 to the right and 3 up. Now PO must be 4 to the left and 3 down. So it's negative 4, negative 3. You add that to the vector OQ, which is just 5 to the right. So you plus 5. When you move from O to Q, you did not move up or down, so the Y movement was zero. When you add these vectors, negative four plus five is one, negative three plus zero is negative three. So PQ is one, negative three. All right. Then RS now. RS means you are moving from R to S this direction now in order for you to move all right let me just get rid of some of these markings in the meantime no not this one I want to get rid of some of the markings that I have here. Don't want to overcrowd the diagram too much with markings. Okay, good. We move here this time from R to S. No going from R to S you could move straight from R to S or you could move along RO turn 
and go from O to S. So what you could say is that RS is equal to RO plus OS. Okay, good. No. RO It is the same as the opposite of OR going from R to O is in the opposite direction going from O to R. Now from O to P then P to R mean the same as going from O to R. OP is part of OR. So OR is OP plus PR. Therefore, RO is RP plus PO. Right? So it is RP plus PO. That is the OR section. Then you can move O to S. But o, o, what is O to S? What is O S? O S is O Q plus. So you go from O to Q, then you continue from Q to S. Q S. What you have now is RP RP remember PR was 3 OP so RP now is negative 3 OP plus PO which is the opposite of OP plus negative for three, see that RP going from R to P is the opposite of going from P to R, or the inverse vector. So it is the negative. Remember, PR was said to be three O P, so it is now negative. Going from P R to P is now negative O P. The opposite direction. So instead of 3OP, you now have negative 3OP. Then plus OQ. You don't have to worry about negatives here. OQ. Remember what it was? It was 50 plus. From Q to S now is 3 times OQ. Remember all of that. So, negative 3 OP is going to be negative 3 times OP, which is times 4, 3, plus the negative of OP, which is the negative of 4, 3, is negative 4, negative 3, plus 5, 0, plus 3, OQ. OQ was 5, 0, so you have 3, 5, 0. So what you have now really is negative 3, 4, negative 12, negative 3 by 3, negative 9. Remember, when you multiply the vector by the individual number, you multiply each element in the vector by the number. Plus negative 4, negative 3, plus 5, 0, plus 3, 5, 15, 3, 0, 0. So what happened here is that negative 12 minus 4 
is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 5 is negative 11. What is negative 11 plus 15? It is a positive 4. So you have 4 at the top. Then at the bottom, the vector, negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. Negative 12 plus 0 remain negative 12 plus 0. It remains negative 12. Good. So, Rs is 4, negative 12. Thank you.